Hey guys, what's up? Tyler here with T Game and Tech. And in today's video, we're going to be going over Swift Key Flow Beta. And Swift Key Flow is in its beta version, and it's kind of like gesture typing or swipe, and you just drag your finger along a keyboard to actually type. And now Swift Key Flow has a lot of the same settings which you are seeing right now as Swift Key 3. You can change what your spacebar will do, or double tapping it, whether or not there's auto caps, and your different auto correct features. And so a lot of the settings are exactly the same. And so we're going to open up Falcon Pro, which is my Twitter client, and I'm going to show you guys how Swift Key Flow actually works. And now I'm behind a camera, and I can barely see my phone. I'm at an awkward angle, so this isn't going to be perfect. And so I try to get it as the best as I can. And basically, I'm typing out, this is a test on Twitter with Swift Key Flow. And so my typing, my swiping is a little bit delayed because I'm trying to look beyond the camera. But as you can see, the trail is kind of a pinkish red blue trail. It kind of changes colors whenever the trail ends. So it's a really nice effect. And overall, I think it works pretty well. Uh, like I said, I'm trying to look behind a camera while I'm doing this. So it's not really going to be my most accurate swiping and typing in the world. And so as you can see, it did pretty good. It messed up a test and then put a random F in there somehow. But overall, it still does pretty good. Now, one of the feature videos for Swift Key Flow showed them typing some pretty long words. And so they tried typing zoology, and I tried typing, and it worked perfectly fine. And I'm pretty sure they tried typing the word archaeological. And now, when I tried this with Swift Key Flow Beta, it really didn't work. It just gave me a random L. And so I went and I tried it on the Nexus 7. The Nexus 7 has gesture typing. And so I went and I typed archaeological, and it showed up. And so uh, overall, I think gesture typing is better as a whole, and it's to be expected because it's a final final like feature of Android. But we have to remember Swift Key Flow is still in beta. So I think it really does pretty well for being in a beta. I've been using it for a couple days, and I really like it. I seem to be that I'm a little bit faster than typing regularly with just tapping the different keys. And so I do think it's pretty stable if you want to try it out. You have to search online for the actual link to the actual beta version. And so I'll put that in the link in the description below. You can't get it through the actual Play Store. But overall, like I said, I think it's really solid. I think it works pretty well. And I would suggest it if you're looking into a different kind of swipe or gesture keyboard. And if you've liked previous previous versions of Swift Key keyboards. And so that's going to wrap up this little preview of Swift Key Flow Beta. It's one of my favorite keyboards now. I might replace the actual Swift Key 3 with Swift Key Flow. And so thank you guys for watching. Click that like button to help support the channel. Subscribe if you would enjoyed this video and like to see more. And we'll see you guys in the next video.